To do product research, first of all, you need to generate your product ideas. There's an easy way for you to do that. You can check what's trending on Amazon. You can check bestsellers, new releases, movers and shakers, most wished for and gift ideas. These parts provide you with a ton of information while doing product research. You can look for any type of products from this page, as that's adequate to help you come up with ideas. This page tells you what are currently selling well and will be available soon. This list updates hourly. It shows you the products that made the most sales in their related category in the past 24 hours. You can use it to have an overview of what customers are shopping now. The main difference between the two pages is the time range they cover, but they are both good lists to generate product ideas for sure. This page is a handy tool to help you find products that are most wanted and being searched for on Amazon. This list shows popular products that people ordered as gifts. You can use both most wished for and gift ideas to help you find products that have good profit margins and low competition during the holiday seasons. Let's take best sellers as an example. The trick here is to dig deep into the subcategories. So instead of looking at the best selling items in the top level category, choose something else to source and sell. You can select a subcategory and look at the top 100 products which are still popular but less competitive. As you can see, it's really competitive in this category. So many reviews. Keep diving into subcategories until you find a less competitive product. Keep in mind that less competition increases the chances of selling the product. You should choose a product to investigate further and find a comparable but better version than the exact product. Once you have an idea about the niche and the respective product, you should see if the product is in demand or not. You can do this by Google Trends. Go to Google Trends and navigate to Explore. Select the region you want to explore. Choose the time range you want to research. Both past 12 months and past 5 years are a good time frame to look at. Here's the category. You can choose the related category you are working in. As for the category and search type, I usually don't change them. Let's say I'm selling on Amazon United States and I want to sell dog bells. I'll go for past 12 months first. Here we go. Now I can see how this product's interest is evolving over time. The trend is pretty steady. If I check the trend in the past five years, it's relatively steady. It even shows a slightly upward trend, which means it's still in demand. Let's see another example, Christmas lights. It's a typical seasonal product, which is available on the market during certain seasons or periods of the year. You can see regular fluctuations in their quantities and prices that are linked to the season or time of the year. So if you are new on Amazon, you'd better avoid this kind of product. After having a general idea about your niche, you can analyze a product you want to sell. I will take the water bottle as an example and go through the steps I usually do to show you how to analyze a product. First of all, I will check the price. Launch product analytics here. You can switch the price range from descending to ascending order so that you can have a quick view of the price range of this product. You can see the highest and lowest prices of the product. Compared with your competitors, what's the best price you can offer to give you an edge? That's what you should think about. More expensive products don't always equal more profits, because higher priced items can be more costly to manufacture and have less demand.
It's suggested to choose products that sell at twenty dollars to fifty dollars. Products in this price range tend to sell better because cheaper products have fewer expectations from buyers, and they are more likely to be imposed purchase. On the other hand, they can cover some direct costs like the cost of goods sold, PPC costs, and Amazon fees. Next, I will check the bestseller rank. It's a good indicator of how well a product is currently selling on Amazon. The lower the product's BSR, the better its sales. Generally speaking, a good BSR is between one to ten thousand. If a product ranks well, that means it has a certain market demand. And next, I will check the sales. With the estimated sales and price provided, it's easy for you to know how much you will make if you sell this product. Choose products that can sell at least ten units a day to ensure a good profit. There's a tip for you if you don't get the estimated monthly sales. You can add a product to your cart. Go to cart and update the quantity to nine hundred and ninety nine, which is the highest number allowed. If that seller has lesser than nine hundred and ninety nine items left in his inventory stocks. It will state this seller only has how many of this available. You can do this the next day, and the difference in inventory is the daily sales of this product. Of course, to make the data more accurate, you can do this for a week and keep track of remaining inventory on a daily basis. Then take an average number. And next, I will analyze the reviews. Analyzing your competitors' reviews is one of the best tactics when doing product research. Launch the review insights here. You should first look at the number of reviews and ratings. Avoid products that have many reviews because it would be much more difficult for your products to surpass them. If you get more reviews than the existing products, you will be able to rank higher. And you should also check the top positive review and top critical review. Analyze what customers like and dislike to know if there's room for improvement. Think about if you can do better than your competitors. Have a look at the inventory. Take it as a reference if you want to sell the same product. To maintain your market advantage and win more sales, you should prepare enough stock, at least enough for sixty days of supply. It's great to choose small and lightweight items to lower shipping fees and reduce storage. You can keep your FBA fees minimal by scouting products that are less than forty-five times thirty-four times twenty-six centimeters in dimension and one point nine kilograms in outbound shipping weight. And next, you need to verify if the product is profitable. Click here to launch profit calculator to estimate your profit margin before you decide what to sell. You can easily switch between FBA and FBM to compare the profits of different fulfillments. You can enter some rough estimates of the shipping fee, the item cost, and the tax rate if you are just looking for estimates. Depending on the category, a profit margin of twenty percent or higher is excellent. Once you have decided what to sell, you may be wondering how to source your product at a cheaper price. You can click the Alibaba, eBay, or Walmart icons to see if there's cheaper products selling on other platforms. Well, that's all about today's video. Let me know what you think about it. If you want to know anything about selling on Amazon, comment down below. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye.